So, today I want to introduce you to the um, VI editor, which is um, a very classic editor in the Unix-like systems and uh, also in Linux um, or GNU Linux. Um, the VI editor regularly invoked as VI <coughs> from the command line is a terminal based editor and as you can see on my system it is a synonym for the VI improved editor. I can also start a more classic VI by using the command NVI uh, which introduced itself in its documentation, the manual page, as text editor. And uh, here we can also see something interesting. This more classic version of VI uh, is um, consisting actually of three different programs called EX, X, VI and VIEW. Um, I will talk a little more about X later on. View is simply a read-only version of VI, um, which I, to be completely honest, rarely, if not at all, am using. Well, VI. Um, when started without an argument, is starting up occupying the entire terminal. Mm, you have some indications of uh, lines. You have um, information about which file you are editing, which is now a new temporary file with a random name. And where you are positioned in that file, we are positioned at line 1. Uh, the basic principle of editing with VI is um, command mode versus edit mode. VI is a so, so to say modal editor because I can switch between different modes. And um, since we now have started classical VI, I will introduce you to the classic work with mode. Uh, when initially started, VI is in command mode. What does command mode mean? It means that now I cannot simply enter text like you are probably used to from other um, text editors when the cursor is positioned inside of some sort of a text pane. No, this is not possible in command mode. Instead, now the program is receiving commands. Um, one way to issue commands to the VI editor is uh, to enter the um, X command mode. And now this is very interesting from a historical standpoint. Um, X was the predecessor editor to VI. I can, for example, start X as well. And now I am in X mode, it says. Um, X mode is a single line mode. Now we have to think back to when VI was actually accomplished as a software, which is the late 70s. In the late 70s, many things that now are like totally natural to any user of computers were not. Uh, they were emerging technologies. And um, one of these uh, technologies was the monitor. Yes, the graphical or rectangular display that is um, in some way interconnected to the computer as an output device. That was not normal back then. Um, maybe you um, remember some old movies, for example, uh, this old Superman movie, I don't know, third part, fourth part, the one where the dude is hacking his corporation and uh, 
Well, he's writing programs or something like that, and he's receiving messages on a line printer. Well, that was state-of-the-art technology back then. Uh, a line printer is an output device. And if you now have a line printer, then of course it makes sense that your program, your software, talks to you in single lines. So, for example, I could enter a command here, like edit, E for edit, and then some uh, name of the source code file that I want to edit. Okay, and it tells me in a single line that I have now loaded main.c, the C source file, uh, which consists of 18 lines and holds overall 258 characters. Hmm. And now I could address single lines inside this text file. For example, the first line by simply typing 1 and then hitting the enter key. Or the second line, which seems to be empty. The third line, where I can see some sort of function is beginning. A routine called test. Returning an int, taking a single int as named parameter A as an argument. Now we are obviously inside of the body and so on. Now I could line by line edit through files. That's not much fun. Um, of course, I could also do stuff like um, simply print out the entire source file. Okay, so I would have it all at once and like have sort of an overview. Um, but Interaction could only be done in terms of single lines and this was changing by the end of the 1970s uh, when multi-line terminals were introduced and uh, you could actually have an interactive terminal that also had the memory of an entire screen. You see wh where we are here now is an X-terminal. It's an X-terminal emulator which runs in a very classic resolution in terms of uh, character columns, 80 columns, and um, lines, 24 lines. That's a classic resolution. It's the resolution of a um, pretty classic text terminal. Uh, X term, if you start it with all defaults, uh, it still will mimic this ancient resol resolution mm, because some of the older, some of the more classic programs are actually optimized for that resolution. And uh, Classic VI is one of these. Mm. Did you see what I do? Um, I wanted to enter a Q program, quit. Uh, Q command, which stands for, but it didn't let me because obviously I changed something. Hmm. File was modified since last complete write. Write or use exclamation mark to overwrite. Well, I will do that. Forced quit. So now I have issued um, like some commands. By now, I have issued the command and as you can see I can use X commands here because what I do when I enter the column in command mode is I actually enter the X mode which is sort of the third mode I exit command mode into X mode but you know I don't make that distinction personally personally to me X mode is part of the command mode you see I distinct between two modes, insert mode and command mode. Insert mode I can enter by pressing the I key. And now, without much visual distinction, I am able to actually type stuff here. And if I'm done, then I am hitting escape key. And again, without much visual distinction, 
I am outside of insert mode back in command mode and if I am in command mode and I type the colon then I enter the X mode personally to me it's part of command mode but completely correct you have to consider it a third mode a mode where you can type in the ancient X commands for example I could force because I don't want to save this hello world text there was just an example I could force editing a file called main C which I have prepared as you can see okay now um, as you can see in command mode I can also navigate if I'm hitting the border while navigating with the arrow keys of my keyboard then I get some sort of feedback in this case it's a visual bell feedback this blinking um, yeah um, to be completely precise I can also navigate using the keys um, K for up L for right J for down H for, for left if you um, locate these keys H J, K and L, then you see that they are all consecutively in the um, like third row from the bottom of your IBM PC keyboard. Uh, holds for Apple keyboards as well, as far as I'm informed. So um, basically this is also a reference back to the days when there were no cursor keys, no arrow keys on keyboards. There still is a way to navigate around using fallback keys. This might come in handy if you ever are forced to use the eye on a terminal that has no cursor keys or no functional cursor keys. Okay, so now we are in command mode, we know how to navigate our way around, we know how to enter X mode, we know a couple of commands, we can quit we can edit stuff, um, we can enter insert mode, now what we will we do, like for example insert a new line here, go one up, um, this is really done with the cursor keys of course because now if I type these here then I will just get these, yeah, I will just type in these characters so back in the days when there were no cursor keys, you actually really had to move the cursor around, really had to leave insert mode again by typing escape. Okay, once again, I takes me into insert mode and escape takes me out of it. Oh, let's insert something here. Yes, was missing. Okay, and then I can navigate around, enter insert mode, make this a comment. Oh, better make this a, st a C comment, because this is C what we are programming here, not C++. Right? Yeah. You actually, if you are, if you are practicing this, I, I wonder if you should, but if you are practicing this, then you can actually um, navigate around in command mode only and um, insert text in insert mode only. It's the classic way of using the eye, but it's, it's not really necessary today because today every keyboard has some sort of cursor keys. Yeah. Um, okay. So now, what, what can we do? We can leave, we can enter and leave insert mode. We can do some basic stuff in command mode. How do we save? The command is W for write. Now it's written. 21 lines, 278 characters have been written. Now I can quit. I get no warning. Because I have written before I exited.